Jesse, welcome to WMNF. Uh, tell us about the March for Reparations. When is it and why are you doing it? Thank you, Sean. I'm glad to be here. The March for Reparations to African People is happening on October 17th of this year. And it's a national day of political action that the Uhuru Solidarity Movement is coordinating uh, to call upon white people in particular to come out and take a stand of principled solidarity with the black community and their struggle for power and self-determination over their lives. It's gonna be happening in six cities throughout the US, including right here in St. Petersburg, Florida, and uh, as well as in California, um, Oregon, uh, St. Louis, Missouri, and other places throughout the country. So why not just join the daily uh, Black Lives Matter demonstrations that are happening in St. Petersburg? Why are you having a separate march for reparations? Well, we believe that it, it is important that people are out demonstrating um, every single day here in St. Petersburg. And, you know, of course, we absolutely salute the incredible and heroic uprisings of the Black community that occurred in this country after uh, the brutal murder of George Floyd and many others um, after him in the last few months. And the reason why this particular March for Reparations to African People is different is because it's based on a call that has been made by the leadership of the African working class, the African People's Socialist Party, um, sorry, and, uh, and Chairman Omali Shatela, who leads the Uhuru movement, who has specifically made a call to us as the white population that we have to go beyond protest, that protesting is good, but we have to get organized under the leadership of the African working class and take an ongoing principled stand for reparations to African people. And that's what the March for Reparations to African People is about. So it is a march, but it's more than just a march. It's a call to become organized and build a movement for reparations to African people under the leadership of the African Liberation Movement. Where in St. Petersburg will the march be and what do you think it'll look like? The march is going to start at St. Petersburg City Hall, which is at uh, 175 Fifth Street North. And it's going to be uh, about uh, three miles of a march towards uh, Vinoy Park. And the march will include uh, speakers from the African People's Socialist Party. And actually, Chairman Amalia Shatela will be speaking, as well as Akile Anai, who ran for city council uh, last year and in 2017 on a platform of reparations. Uh, Akile will be speaking, as well as other community leaders um, on the question of reparations to the black community. And we will also be raising up the demand that the Uhuru movement has put forward over the years for the 85 acres beneath the Tropicana Field Baseball Stadium to be returned to the black community for uh, use of economic development and affordable housing as a concrete act of reparations to African people that the city of St. Petersburg has a responsibility to carry out. Why do you think that the TROP area, the, the area underneath the Tropicana Field Stadium and the parking lots and so forth, why do you think that that would, should be returned to the black community? That's a good question. And it's based on the history of the Tropicana Field, which was actually created in the early 90s after St. Petersburg City Council voted to displace a very old uh, black neighborhood that was known as the gas plant district where there were hundreds of families and um, almost 100 black businesses that resided in that area. And the city of St. Petersburg lied to the black community and promised uh, light industry and job opportunities in return for uh, displacing people from their homes. And instead, in the 20 years since that happened, there has been no economic development for the black community in this city. The conditions faced by uh, the black population on the south side have only intensified the gap between what we experience as white people uh, and the wealth that's been poured into downtown and the stark poverty and you know disparities, whether it's in education, whether it's in police violence, whether it's in infant and maternal mortality uh, are, are some of the worst in the whole country here in St. Petersburg. And uh, that, that Tropicana Field Baseball Stadium is a monument to that legacy of anti-Black oppression 
uh, and gentrification and displacement upon which the entire political economy of the Saint P uh, city of St. Petersburg rests. So this is a, a really important demand that um, the black liberation movement in this city has put forward for many years. Uh, right now, there's all this discussion about what the city of St. Pete is going to do with that land. And they're talking about um, developing office buildings or putting a shopping center or doing something else and making some kind of a superficial nod to what used to be there by renaming it the gas plant district. And that is a complete insult. What the Uhura movement is calling for is that this represents an opportunity to right a historic wrong by turning that land over to the black community uh, as a form of reparations. And the Uhura movement uh, under the campaign of Akile last year actually developed a proposal called the Reparations Land Trust Authority uh, for what a democratic body would look like that would have possession of that land and be responsible for uh, genuine development in the interests of the black community. So this is something that white people should get behind and, and this is one of the demands of the March for Reparations as well as the larger demand nationally of the entire campaign which is a call, a demand for Wall Street and the banks and corporations in this country to pay reparations to uh, African people through funding the Black Power Blueprint project that the Uhuru movement has created in St. Louis, which is a similar kind of anti-colonial economic development initiative. And we're making a call to Wall Street and to the banks um, because like the city of St. Petersburg, Wall Street is built on the history and the legacy of the enslavement and the oppression of black people in this country. Well, Jesse Neville with the Uhuru Solidarity Movement, is there anything else about the March for Reparations that you'd like to share with our listeners? I would just encourage people to go to uhurusolidarity.org slash march. If you go specifically to stpetemarchforreparations.eventbrite.com, you can find uh, more specific information about the march that's gonna be happening in the city of St. Petersburg. On Saturday, October 17th at 11 a.m., the march will begin at St. Pete City Hall. And anyone in this city who wants to see an end to the incessant police murder and terror against the black community, not only in St. Petersburg, but throughout the country, should come out and join us and march for reparations to African people. Jesse Neville with the Uhuru Solidarity Movement. Thanks so much for coming on WMNF today. Thank you. All right, take care. Bye-bye.